what the LED technology gave us was this type of light that we take for granted now, but it's like a wall grazer. And what, what that new technology gave us was new opportunities. Oh, okay. So uh, I've got some photographs of, I mean, there's, there's various photographs of Buckingham Palace that have been lit up. Mainly it was done for events and it, it, it was a classic example of saying, well, if I'm looking at the Buckingham Palace from the mall, mm. the light needs to come from the side to give you modelling. So you, if, you're, if you're looking down from the mall and you've lit the building from the same direction you're looking at it from, you won't see shadows. You want to bring out all that detail, so that's why you light it from the side. Yeah. So it had been lit before, but apparently the Queen wasn't happy for the building to be lit, even though uh, her apartments are down the side, along the sort of Green yeah. Park side. This was about her sort of opinion of the building shouldn't be too prominent in London? or it's I, don't, I, I don't know... Honestly, what, what the reason was, whether it was felt that the light was obtrusive or it suddenly turned it into a, a, a tourist, tourist attraction. attraction, which, which, which to be honest, it, it is. is. But what the LED technology gave us was this type of light that we take for granted now, but it's like a wall grazer. So very narrow, very thin, that can produce a flat beam of light that you can shine up a facade. So it's a very good way of lighting a facade, bringing out all the modelling and texture of the, but if you looked at the stone, it's quite a warm coloured stone. It's like a yellowy colour, isn't it? And up until then, this was very early in the days of LED, when everything was cold and white. And I think you remember, you know, when LEDs first came out, everyone was referring to it as that cold, white, harsh light. And the reason it was cold and white was that that particular colour was the most efficient. So everyone was, everything that was being done with LED that was white tended to be cold. Uh, but we said, no, we want something that is warm. Yeah. We said we want some warm light, warm white uh, colour. So this is really early in LEDs. So I think that, that swayed the development people a little bit. Yes. So we took some samples up there. One evening, we were out in the courtyard of uh, Buckingham Palace with these LEDs and with these other light sources. So we were experimenting with several different positions, looking at the effect of the shadows, and then uh, using these warm wall grazers on the, on the main facade.